You say your kids are 13. Okay. So this happened about 10 years ago when I worked at the box office of a movie theater. Before automated machines were the norm. Adult tickets. 14 plus. Were $11.99. Kids. 3 to 13. Were $9.50 and kids under 3 were free. I had a woman come to my till with two kids. Now. These kids look to be about 15. Though it can be hard to tell sometimes. As many kids don't carry any kind of ID. The rule of thumb was to sell either a kid's ticket or adult ticket based on how old the adult told. Us the kids were. Many people would abuse this and say the kids were 13 in order to save a few bucks. Typically. I didn't care as I understood the prices were pretty high and this was a big chain so a few older. Kids getting cheaper tickets wasn't a big deal. What was different this time is that the woman was very rude throughout the whole transaction. We have a series of questions we have to ask throughout the transaction. Loyalty program etc. And we would randomly get scored by mystery shoppers to ensure we were following the script. This woman was annoyed and short with me throughout the whole transaction when I was being super friendly and just trying to do my job. When we got to the part about what kind of tickets she needed, it went something like this. Me. How old are the kids? Her. Why? Me. So I know whether they need kids tickets or adult tickets. Her. What is the difference? Me. Adult tickets are for 14 plus and are $11.99. Kids tickets are for 3 to 13 and are $9.50. Her. Oh. They're 13. Me. Okay. And which film would you like to go see today? Her. Backslash. Whatever film it was. I can't remember anymore. Me. Okay. No problem. For two kids and one adult that will be $30.99 total. Her. Actually. I am not going with them. I am just dropping them off. Me. Unfortunately. This movie is 14A. Which means you have to be either 14 or accompanied by an adult to see it. Her. Well. They're 14. Me. You just told me they're 13. Her. They're actually 14. I just didn't want to pay the price for adult tickets. Me. Unfortunately you told me they're 13. Unless you have ID that shows they are 14. I have to assume what you first told me was correct and cannot allow them to watch this movie. Unsupervised as it is 14A. Her. This is ridiculous. So what are my options? Me. They can either go to a different movie that is not 14A. Or you will have to buy a ticket and accompany them to this one. After a lot of back and forth about options. She finally decided to bite the bullet and buy an adult ticket to accompany them. I like to think she spent the next two hours reflecting on how her attempt to save $5 ended up. Costing her $11.99 in two hours of her time. Realistically, she likely bought the ticket, accompanied them into the theater, and then left them there to watch the movie while she went shopping. Either way, it still cost her the extra $11.99 for her ticket. I'm a very petite adult. I have a very tall kid brother but I'm old enough to be his mom. I remember taking him to a museum with my little niece. He was just under 13 which was the adult cut off. I asked for one adult ticket and two kids ticket. My kid brother towered over me. I got a lot of side eye and flack but I was telling the truth. Decades ago my dad went to drop me off to see Young Frankenstein. The theater owner. Single screen. Was very strict about ages and ratings. My dad reluctantly stayed to see the movie with me. Because the owner wouldn't let young teens in unaccompanied. He had the best time. He laughed and laughed. Many of the jokes went over my head. Best movie ever. 
in our cinema a few years ago. Your ticket was only checked at the security point entrance to all the cinemas. Past the ticket booths. So you could watch whatever movie you wanted to. Once you get past the security point. If it wasn't a busy weekday. You could see how many seats were available for each movie at the ticket booth. You could just go and watch whatever movie you wanted. And no one would bother you about moving. My friends and I did it once or twice to skip the age restrictions. And I doubt they've ever done anything to fix that system. My 12-year-old daughter is already 5 feet 6 inches and I'm sure I'm being judged. I'm 6 feet 6 and my wife is 5 feet 1. One time when we were 25 we went to the movies and the employee asked one adult and one child? I just laughed and said okay. Sure. I was kinda on the other side of this type of thing years ago and really annoyed the theater people. We went to a midnight opening of some movie that had been hyped up. It was probably garbage but my wife and I liked to do the midnight movies occasionally. There are these two younger guys looking heartbroken as the the attendant pulls them out of line. And tells them without an adult they can't go in. As they pass me I look up and say loudly. Danny and Jack are you all going to see the movie too? They were clearly confused as their names were probably not Danny and Jack. But said they were getting kicked out because they didn't have adult supervision. I told the attendant that they were my nephews and I would supervise them. The attendant, who knew I was lying, was not happy, but let them in anyway. Like 40 different people in line gave me the nod. Edit. Punctuation, which is still probably bad. Well well well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Dot dot. I love the MC as a retail worker. And especially about being real with a customer who just lied to your face. What I'm really wondering is how hard would it be for the kids to just get the tickets to the one movie. Then after they hand them in. Just go to the movie they wanted? We used to do this all the time. They check the tickets when you walk into the theater area. Not in front of the specific movie. I had a lady do that with me when I was 20 and worked at a movie theater back in 1999. South Park, bigger, longer and uncut, had just come out and our theater head office sent out a notice that we were to fully enforce that no one under 17 without an adult, because it was R-rated. Lady came in with two boys who couldn't have been more than 9 or 10. She asked for two tickets for that movie. I asked which two of them the tickets were for and she said, them. I'm going shopping while they watch the movie. I informed her of the policy and then pointed to a printed out copy of it posted next to each ticket booth. She was not happy and said she wanted to speak to a manager. I said, okay, but he will tell you the exact same thing, and pointed her to the manager window. She stomped over had an animated conversation with him and then stomped back and paid for three tickets while muttering to herself and walked to that theater with the boys. The manager came over and said, I'm going to make sure she stays. Sure enough, about 15 minutes later he caught her trying to sneak out and he kicked them all out. Went to the movies with my 5 feet 0 inches 8 yo. At first, the cashier rang up two adult tickets, 13 plus. When I corrected him, the cashier cleverly asked my son how old he was, instead of me. This vaguely reminds me of when I was a hotel manager at a property with a full spa. They also had a membership. We had a strict, no one under 16 inches rule for the pool deck and anyone who was getting treatment room services. Hair, nail salon was different. This member calls and says she wants to book a hydrafacial for her teenage daughter. Now this is a $350 service. And it's not something one really recommends for a teen. 
especially if it's their first facial. It's also a service that has a number of contraindications. Allergies to shellfish. Prone to cold sores. If you have diabetes, usually something for a teen would be like a regular cleansing facial. So I probe a little bit and I ask for her age. The woman says, she's 14. I apologize and explain to her that I cannot book the service and cited our age policy. But, 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 she looks like she's 25. I tell her again, I'm sorry, but we cannot book her for that service. I go over which services we can offer her. We can pamper her in the salon and she will have a lovely day here. I'm just going to tell the front desk she's 16. They will let her by the pool. Ma'am I cannot have you do that as you have already told me she is 14. This is an adult facility. But she looks like she's 25. Oh and her personality. She's like a young woman already. Trust me. She may be in middle school. But she is going on 25. Again. Ma'am. That's not how this works. I won't renew my membership after this. You really want that? My daughter could have been a future member. You won't be getting any money from her when Wen's old enough to have her own membership. I go over everything again. You don't understand these kids. These kids. These kids they're just so much more advanced with skincare than we were. They know skincare. I put oatmeal on my face but these kids these kids they're practically estheticians. They got the computer. The YouTube. The this. The that. And they know facials. I'm telling you she is 14 but she looks like she's 25. She's going on 25. She won't bother anybody. It goes on and on and on and finally I flagged their profiles and their memberships in case she tried to pull this nonsense at a later time. It amazes me that people think they're fighting for their kids. But they do shit like this. I'm a petite Asian girl. They just automatically give me kid, student tickets when I go to the movie. I'm 25. I used right work in a cafe and we had a hot chocolate for $1.50 for a small. K-I-F-D. But $3 for a small. Adult. The difference was. We'd steam it to a certain temperature for the kids so it wasn't too hot to burn them but safe. In no GJ to consume. And we'd have zero liability. So many people would try and cheat the system by ordering that and when they'd get this warm hit. Chocolate they would complain that it wasn't hit enough and we'd explain why and that they ordered. A kid's hot chocolate so we can't steam it any more than that for liability reasons. So many people were pissed and had the look on their face that they should have spent the extra. One dollar and fifty cents. While living in Japan. I definitely lied about my daughter's age when I got buffet food. She was like eight. But would say she was six. In all fairness. She didn't eat much. Which is how I justified not paying so much for the food always cracks me up that parents lie and say their kids are younger so they get a Kuiper meal or a discounted ticket and then wonder where their kids learned it was okay to cheat and lie. It costs zero dollars to be nice. I wish more people realized that. I was on the other side of this. Way back some friends and I went to the movies to go see Species. Guy asks how old. We were under 16. He said it's rated R so you can't watch it. Fine. Give me a ticket for Waterworld. Says that will be adult price or whatever $9. I said okay. Adult price. Give me a ticket for species. We went back and forth a bit as I was arguing why do I have to pay adult price if I can't watch an adult movie? He was stumped. Fine. Give me one adult for Waterworld. Then looking right at him we walked into Species. And the theater will play the movie if one person attends or a full theater attends. It's a really 
silly business. My stepfather grew up insanely sheltered. His family was Amish. They moved and converted to Mennonite. And he left them at 18. Although he's been quite successful in life. He formally has an 8th grade education and was never part of a high school. That's the way it works for them. So there were just a lot of things he didn't know. Not his fault. Anyway. On a family movie night I overheard him buying tickets and he purchased two adults. Parents. Two kids. My younger siblings. And two senior tickets. Myself and my buddy who was with me. I was in high school. But not a senior. Freshman I think. Anyway. After he bought them. I asked why he did that and he said he couldn't remember what year we were. But he was thinking we were seniors. It led to a good laugh and he then understood what senior meant. Nice people for the win. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.